Hello everyone, and welcome to Empower Her. Today, we're talking about a significant milestone in your baby's development, teething. Those first little teeth are adorable, but the process of getting them can be tough for both babies and parents. Join us as we explore some effective tips and tricks to help you and your baby navigate teething with more ease and comfort. Teething is an exciting yet challenging phase for both babies and parents. The appearance of those first teeth often brings discomfort and sleepless nights. Understanding what to expect and how to alleviate your baby's discomfort can make this transition smoother for everyone involved. In this video, we'll cover the typical timeline for teething, common symptoms to watch for, and a variety of strategies to soothe your baby's discomfort. Let's dive into the world of teething and equip you with the knowledge and tools to support your little one through this milestone. Most babies start teething around 4-7 to seven months of age, but it's perfectly normal for the first tooth to appear as early as 3 months or as late as 12 months. Typically, the lower central incisors are the first to emerge, followed by the upper central incisors. Teething symptoms can begin weeks before the tooth actually breaks through the gum. Common signs include increased drooling, gum rubbing, biting or chewing on objects, irritability, disrupted sleep, and sometimes a slight increase in temperature. It's important to note that while teething can cause a low-grade fever, a high fever or other severe symptoms should prompt a visit to your healthcare provider. One of the most effective ways to ease your baby's teething discomfort is to provide something safe for them to chew on. Teething rings made of firm rubber can offer soothing relief. Avoid teething rings that are frozen solid, as these can be too hard and may hurt your baby's gums. Instead, opt for chilled teething rings. You can also offer a clean, wet washcloth that has been chilled in the refrigerator. Let your baby chew on it under supervision. The gentle pressure on their gums can help alleviate pain and discomfort, providing some much-needed relief. Cold temperatures can help numb the gums and reduce inflammation, making it another excellent way to soothe teething discomfort. You can offer your baby a chilled spoon or a refrigerated pacifier. Some parents find success with teething toys that can be safely cooled in the refrigerator. Make sure to avoid putting teething toys in the freezer, as extreme cold can damage sensitive gums. If your baby is eating solid foods, chilled foods like applesauce, yogurt, or pureed fruits can also provide comfort. Always supervise your baby to ensure they don't choke on these items. Gentle gum massages can be very soothing for a teething baby. Use a clean finger to rub your baby's gums with a light, circular motion. You can also try using a moistened gauze pad or a soft, damp cloth. The pressure from the massage can help alleviate some of the discomfort associated with teething. If your baby is resistant to having their gums rubbed, you might try offering them a cool, damp washcloth to chew on, which can provide a similar massaging effect. If natural methods aren't providing enough relief, you might consider over-the-counter remedies. Teething gels and creams that contain a mild anesthetic can numb your baby's gums, but it's important to use them sparingly and only as directed. Some pediatricians recommend acetaminophen or ibuprofen for infants who are in significant discomfort, but always consult your healthcare provider before administering any medication. It's crucial to avoid teething products that contain benzocaine or lidocaine, as these can have serious side effects for young children. Distraction can be a powerful tool in managing teething discomfort. Engage your baby with their favorite toys, play games, or take them for a walk to help take their mind off the pain. Offering extra cuddles and comfort during this time can also provide emotional reassurance and reduce irritability. Sometimes, just being close to you can help soothe your baby. Singing, gentle rocking, or a warm bath can also be comforting and provide a calming environment for your little one. As your baby's teeth begin to emerge, it's important to start a routine of good oral hygiene. Gently clean your baby's teeth and gums with a soft, damp cloth or a baby toothbrush with soft bristles. You don't need to use toothpaste at this stage, simply water will suffice. Once the first tooth appears, you can introduce a tiny smear of fluoride toothpaste. Establishing good oral hygiene habits early on sets the foundation for healthy teeth and gums as your baby grows. While teething is a natural process, there are times when you might need to seek professional advice. If your baby has a high fever, diarrhea, or other severe symptoms, these are likely not related to teething and should be evaluated by a healthcare provider. Additionally, if you have any concerns about your baby's teething process or oral health, don't hesitate to consult with your pediatrician or a pediatric dentist. 
they can provide guidance and ensure that your baby's teeth are developing properly. In conclusion, teething is a significant milestone in your baby's development, and it can be a challenging time for both of you. By understanding the typical timeline, recognizing the symptoms, and implementing effective soothing strategies, you can help ease your baby's discomfort and make this transition smoother. Remember, every baby is different, and what works for one might not work for another. Patience, comfort, and plenty of love will go a long way in helping your baby through the teething process.